Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the gifts that I got um, for Christmas from my immediate family. And plus, oh yeah, I lost my train of thought. Also, I'm going to be um, sharing with you at the end of the video the giveaway winner of the giveaway that I was doing during my um, Korean skin care sheet mask video that you would have seen so stay tuned for the end of this video and I'll be sharing with you that winner so anyway I haven't filmed in a couple weeks um, I've had a lot of technical difficulties and then Christmas Day well actually a few days before Christmas the older grandkids came down with the flu and then Christmas Day afternoon it hit the adults one by one. I mean, it was like staggered, like at two o'clock in the afternoon, I was in bed. And then around six, my son was in bed. The following day, my son-in-law, then my daughter, and then my husband. I mean, it was just like a domino effect. I mean, everybody's had it. So just have been very much under the weather. Anyway, we're on the mend. So, um, let's get started and let me show you what I got. But first of all, I want to make sure that everyone had a really nice Christmas, holiday, um, whatever it is that you celebrate as far as the season goes. I hope it was wonderful. I hope you had a very happy new year and that 2018 will be um, a very happy and prosperous new year for you. So anyway, I'm going to start with what my son and daughter-in-law gave me and they did um, give to me with this cute little picture in this picture frame of my new grandbaby Bennett and I just absolutely love this picture here. Um, she had his pictures done. I think this was his four week pictures and this expression here on this little guy's face is my son 100% all over. This could have been a picture that was taken 30 years ago and I could have, I would have sworn it you know it was my son but that is our newest little grandbaby Bennett and he is a cutie. He is he's definitely given his parents a run for their money though I will tell you that. <laughs> um, oh I lost my little Dilly wop off my microphone. I'm trying a different microphone, so I'm going to try not to bump it, but hopefully you will be able to hear um, hear me better. So I'm looking at my computer monitor here, and it's showing that it's recording the sound, so hopefully everything's good. Okay, also uh, from my son and daughter-in-law, and this was also from my daughter and son-in-law they all went together and they got my husband each the same thing and I am really excited about this and they got us this here which is the 23 in me welcome to you um, it's a DNA test kit you know if everyone's seen them you know it's supposed to be able to tell you what your ancestry is I am so excited about this you do not you do not know so um, my husband and I are going to do this. We decided to wait until after we're not sick to do it because you have to send um, a sample of your saliva in the kit. And I thought what I would do when I get ready to do that is I will kind of walk you through with how I do it and then wait till I get the results and then record the results and then put that video all together as one. So I think it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm excited about it. I, my husband, he he's a little leery of it because he's one of those um, people that, you know, the government is out to get you. Um, they're watching your every move, that type thing. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get him to spin in it, but we'll see. And then for my husband, my husband got me the cutest, most unique gift Ever. I can almost guarantee you that anybody watching this video has never received one of these. Possibly even never heard of it because I had never heard of it either, but it's the cutest little story ever. But basically, uh, my husband works for a water 
district and it's a rural water district so it is governed by a board of directors and on that board of directors is a lady and she makes Christmas spiders. I had never heard of Christmas spiders or why you would even want a Christmas spider but um, the legend of the Christmas spider goes as such and um, a long time ago in Germany there was a housewife and she was getting her house prepared for Christmas Eve and she was working very hard to sweep and to clean and as she was sweeping all the spiders the little spiders kind of scurried up to the attic and hid while she was cleaning so she got her all house all clean and got the tree up all ready for Christmas Eve for Santa to visit that evening and went to bed well after the, the house was quiet and she went to bed the little spiders came back down from the attic and they seen the christmas tree and how pretty it was and they were so excited so they started climbing all over the um, christmas tree you know putting their web all over the christmas tree and you know just filling the christmas tree all up with their webs well, when Santa came, he seen, you know, the Christmas tree and he seen the house and he realized how hard the, the housewife had worked on getting the house clean and the spiders had came down, you know, and covered the tree up with their webs. So he didn't want the housewife to be upset when she got up the next morning because he knew how hard she had worked. So he used his magic, his Santa Claus magic, and made the spider webs all sparkly. And that is how the tradition of putting tinsel on our tree was created. So when they got up the next morning, their tree was all shiny with all these little glittery pieces of web-like material. And that is the story of tinsel. So um, tradition is that you get a Christmas spider and she makes these out of beads. And at Christmas, you put your Christmas spider in your tree to remind you of the tradition of the tinsel and how magical Santa really is. And he does more than just bring um, monetary gifts to um, those who believe. He has here on the end a little tail that you could probably string some fishing wire through there and hang it if you wanted to, but I think he's made to just sit in the branches like so. But I just thought that was the most unique, coolest little gift ever. And she puts them in these little um, pie boxes, pie pieces of pie boxes here. And then it has the story of the Christmas spider on a piece of paper in there. So anyway, I didn't put up a tree this year, so he's just been, for the last few days, just been hanging out on my dining room table. But next year, I'm definitely going to um, get a tree and put him in my tree. But I just thought that was the coolest thing. It was very unique, um, has a lot of meaning to it, tradition, history, and I, I just love that. So then my husband also told me, you know, to go ahead and get what I wanted and that he would pay for it because he's not wanting to go out and shop, which is fine because, to be honest with you, I really don't <laughs> want him to shop for me. And I was very pleasantly surprised that he got me something like this that was just really cool that I actually like. Anyway, um, so I decided I wanted to, next year when I put up a tree, I wanted to get some of the, um, what are they called, Starbucks little Christmas ornaments. So I did find a few of these when my daughter and I were out shopping. And this one is just a little motif of Starbucks. It has a little bit of Starbucks coffee. Um, we don't have a Starbucks here in town. It's in Tulsa. So every time her and I go shopping, because our first stop is always Target and they have a Starbucks and we get a coffee. And that just kind of Reminds me of that. This one was really cute. It's got little peace symbols and a heart, and but it was in the little rose gold in like a mint colored um, cup, which I thought would go very well with my decor in my home when I do the tree. And then this one here has a little fox on it, which I thought was cute. So I got those three. That was the only three different ones that they had because I was kind of late in the game of getting those, but 
that's okay. I'm going to be on the eye. Look out for those next year. And then um, I did go ahead and order me a little something, something from Louis Vuitton. Um, he did tell me to get what I wanted, but um, I did get this because it is something that I have been wanting. And I was so excited when I opened it because I didn't think since I ordered it online because we don't have Louis Vuitton here in Oklahoma that it actually came with a little Christmas ribbon and then the little Christmas um, card, gift card. So I thought that was kind of nice. I figured it would just be without any ribbon or anything. But anyway. So we're going to open it up. Of course, I already know what it is. I've already looked at it. And I really wanted the monogram, but the monogram was sold out and has been sold out for quite some time online. So it's in the little dust bag. And so I got it in the Demi Azure. And, or not the Azure, I'm sorry, the Aben. The Azure is the white. They were out of the Azure also. But this is the um, key pouch or a clay and it's just a little pouch that you can use for different um, different items, different ways. It has a little key on here. I personally am going to use this as a bag charm. I just thought that would be really cute to use as a bag charm. And then if I wanted to, I could put just a little bit of cash in here. That would be real handy to get to. Um, for because I always stop every morning at Brahms and get me a Diet Coke. So if I just put a couple dollars in here, that could do my Diet Coke every morning or keep some um, change in here because the, my husband and I, we eat out just about every day. And the way we do it, he pays for the meal and I pay for the tip. So I can keep my tip money in here also. And it would be easier for me just, you know, to get to with it hanging on my bag. So I just... I've been wanting one and um, that was the only one that they had in stock and those are getting harder and harder to come by. So I went ahead and just got it and that was what I got for my husband for Christmas. So that is what I received for Christmas. Um, love every single gift. There was a lot of thought put into it and it just warms my heart. I keep telling the kids, you know, don't get us anything. We don't need anything. Spend your money on your own children. But, you know, they insisted on getting something. So I'm real excited about that 23andMe. And I'll do a separate video with that. Okay, so now on to the winner of the um, giveaway. Hang on just a second. So I had said that I was going to do a giveaway with um, this bag full of stuff right here. And then I was going to select two winners. Okay, my bag um, from the previous um, video has acquired a lot more. And I had such a good response. Woo! There went my table. There went Batty. She almost fell. I don't know if you can tell with Batty back here. But I knocked her off my table. And poor little Betty, I chipped her boob. So now she has a white boob. <laughs> so I don't know. And I don't think I could find a marker that would be this color red to fill it in to make it look right. But oh, I was like, oh, I've had this little Betty boob for a very long time. And then I knocked her off my table and chipped her. Oh, that was so sad. My poor little Betty. But anyway, um, here, let me turn back and talk to you face to face instead of my back to you. I've decided since I had such a good response to the giveaway and I have so much things and I have a lot more things to add to this that I am going to send everybody that entered the giveaway a, a gift. So, um, everybody up to this date, which is December the 28th, so if you say something on when this video goes up, because this video won't go up until next week, um, you're, you're not going to get anything because you didn't enter in time. Sorry, but those before that, and you know who you are, you entered, if you will private message me, direct message me um, at Janie Rankin at Gmail, and that that is in the description box, but my name is spelled J-A-N-N-I-E 
R-A-N-K-I-N at Gmail. It has a, a little bit different spelling than normal. Your shipping information, I will get something out to you as a thank you for being so kind to share with me your favorite um, Christmas Carol. It was so exciting to read everyone. It seemed like everybody had a different Christmas Carol that they absolutely loved. And all Christmas Carols, in my opinion, are wonderful. And it was just so fun to, to read what everybody liked and for what reason. But anyway, <coughs> so, sorry. I'm getting all choked up here. So thank you so much for um, joining that giveaway. And like I said, get that information to me. As soon as you get your information to me, I will disperse the gifts out to you. So thank you so much. I hope that you have enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye.